moment I stepped into Dracula's mansion, I knew I was in for the wildest night of my life. The towering iron gates creaked open, revealing the mansion's grand facade. Dracula descended the grand staircase with all the grandeur you'd expect. He was every bit the iconic vampire, tall, pale, and impossibly dashing, his sharp fangs showing through an easy, confident smile. He wore a black suit with a blood-red vest, and his cape trailed behind him with an elegant flourish. Ah, you've arrived. Welcome to my humble abode. gestured towards the ballroom, and I entered a whole new world. Massive chandeliers glittered above, each one a spiral of glass and gold. The dance floor was packed, famous Halloween monsters in the flesh, moving to the pounding base of a live band. At the center of the stage, there he was, Frankenstein's monster, head-banging like a man possessed while ripping a guitar solo that could wake the dead. His bolts sparked with every strum, sending arcs of green electricity that lit up the crowd. Beside him, a voluptuous witch rocked the keyboard, her eyes half-closed, and a devilish grin on her crimson lips. The audience was a mix of ghouls, goblins, vampires, and zombies, all locked into a euphoric dance. But my eyes were drawn to the demonesses. They moved through the crowd like shadows come to life, tall and slender, with black feathered wings and twisted horns that curled elegantly around their heads. They were seductive and confident. One of them caught my eye, a devilish beauty with skin the color of midnight and eyes that shimmered like embers. I wandered further into the mansion, passing rooms filled with seductive demonesses draped over opulent furniture, trading playful taunts with vampires who lounged on antique sofas. In one corner, the mummy was doing shots with some werewolves, the bandages trailing off his arm as he tried to keep up. Nearby, a trio of witches in sultry gothic outfits cackled as they poured a bubbling concoction into a crystal punch bowl, the fumes giving off a sweet, hypnotic scent. out a guttural growl that reverberated through the mansion, sending waves of excitement through the crowd. His sidekicks, a pair of seductive vampires, danced and twirled around him, their laughter mingling with the heavy riffs. The music picked up again, louder and heavier, and the mansion seemed to thrum with life. Dracula tipped his glass in a toast, his eyes twinkling with centuries of secrets. To Halloween, he said his voice carrying a weight that felt ancient. I raised my glass, feeling like I'd earned a place in this strange, wonderful gathering. To Halloween, I echoed, and we drank to the night. There's a rock and roll song. Come on! Please, we've got a 